I guess it's a flaw in my character that I dislike things that make others happy. And so today on the news, they were celebrating fall. Everybody was like, oh, it's my favorite season. Mm-hmm. It's pumpkin spice latte. And I just looked at them and said, you don't even know. You have no idea. You they don't even, know? I said, you don't even know what fall is. All they fall. don't know what fall is. <laughs> Which is a weird uh, yeah. flex on your part. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know what fall is. Like, I do. Uh, okay. I always say that. I was sitting here, I was sitting here looking at stats about fall. And I just, just seething. You all have no idea. You have no idea what you're setting yourself up for here mm-hmm. in fall. You all for played in leaves? <laughs> <laughs> what? When people like things, especially in big numbers, yeah, I go the other direction. And lately, the last ten years, I see people like, "Oh, fall's my favorite season." You know what I say? Give me summer. Give me heat. Everybody, fall this and fall that. And I dislike it for no reason. Everyone None. loves it. Everyone loves it. But I say, no, sir, when I see people celebrating fall. That's how I am. Chris mm-hmm. Dim just said that, in fact, he sent an article along. We're not getting to it today. We have to flesh it out. Mm. But there are. Yeah, like, it needs some work. It does, but it's a list of ways people who are secret narcissists pose as shy introverts. <laughs> And I think that's meant for me. I think. Oh, the, oh I, I think, think so. Too. As I just glanced yeah, through it, I thought, uh, "Oh, this is going to be." Oh yeah, because you like to play the "I'm just a shy boy from the country." <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's right. But I may be a mm-hmm. secret narcissist. Uh-huh. Now you know I'm not really familiar with what narcissism is. Not a hundred percent. I revealed recently I confuse narcissism, nepotism, and necrophilia, and I'm not. I am in the wrong meeting. I have not. <laughs> Is this the uh, narcissism meeting? No, no, no. This is the necrophiliac meeting. <laughs> Please, stay. Can I stay? <laughs> we don't get many new faces. <laughs> you know, there are another one I've read about uh, QAnon today. That's another one. I don't know what that is. I, it, <laughs> yeah. I'll be broadcasting that. Well, I saw an article about something about QAnon. That's, the to me, the one you're most likely to be sucked into. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like... People in QAnon think something. I don't even know what they are. Yeah. It was just like a headline. I was like, well, uh, I don't know what that is exactly. You know, the, mm-hmm. and, and right, uh, it's always around me. Mm-hmm. Just like the, so, there are certain things I don't exactly know what they are, and I am somewhat shy and introverted. <laughs> but maybe, as I looked at that list, uh-huh. a secret narcissist. Can you believe that? Yes. <laughs> Moi? <laughs> is it even possible? Uh, here's an example. Yesterday, Chris Dim revealed he'd be leaving this program early today. Garbage time. He's uh, bailing on uh, 45 minutes of garbage time. Didn't want to, but we have to. Flight. Destination wedding. Got a flight. <laughs> got a destination wedding. Going. Got to leave. Got a flight. Won't be here tomorrow. We knew that. He told us going to be out 45 minutes early. I look at that text. I think, what does that mean to me? What What is going to happen with me on mm-hmm. this? How are we going to cover this, et cetera? Well, what we're going to do is a green flag pit stop with B.B. <laughs> Shea entering and Chris Dim leaving. Mm-hmm. might actually capture it on video. On the fly. I think it's going to be terrific. Yeah. This is going to be one because he's leaving right in the middle of a segment. Yeah. And that's a, it's not going to be a red flag pit stop or even a yellow. We're going to be full green. Green, green, green. And B.B. Shea will come in here for the last 40 minutes, 45 minutes of garbage time. And Chris Dim will let, You want to hang around for this now. That's only three hours and 15 <laughs> minutes away. You want to be here for that oh, one. That seems so long. Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the journey. You say it outright. No, the journey ahead. It's like a river. Where will it mm-hmm. take us? You know, what mm-hmm. will these next three and a half hours be? What I always like is, um, which... You have this, uh, I guess, your bit emoji, which is you with your thumbs up and your glasses. And I love it because you use that all the time, but often when you don't mean it. Like Kristen was like, no, I'm going to have to leave early. And you were like, no problem. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the line bit emoji. That's right. And then mm-hmm. I, immediately I was scrambling, like, oh my God. Of course, immediately. What's mm-hmm. going to happen mm-hmm. here? But your bit emoji is like, hey, no problem. Right. 45 minutes. Right. On, fly safe. So, and then Biggie writes back right after that, right after Christian says, I'm leaving early, 
Sounds to me like we need to make a call to the bullpen mid-game for B.B. Shea. I'll get his music ready. And I was like, what does he mean by music? <laughs> what does he mean what does by that mean? This? What does he so- what does it mean to me? What's he talking about? So i scrambling again. What are you talking What music? What do you mean? And, and Biggie said, I just meant that as a joke. Yeah, you know, like call to the bullpen. Yeah, because you know that everyone has a theme now when they run. Uh, you know, it's like walk-up so, entrance yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, all right. Mm-hmm. I see what you're saying. But it's just mm, a joke. Fun. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> I suck so much yeah, fun from yeah, you. Do. You've become, I don't know if you were even aware of this, but people, coworkers, people we've known a long time now Avoid. don't believe you <laughs> when you tell the truth. We had a company outing yesterday. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people from the company were invited to lunch. Yeah. Very nice lunch. Very. And uh, some axe throwing, competitive axe throwing after. Let me tell you something about axe throwing. Do it. Awesome. G- incredible way mm-hmm. to get rid of your aggression. <laughs> we were at a place. I'm so glad you brought it up. It's a place here. It's called Wicked Taco, Wicked Burger. And uh, the, we went out there for the axe throwing. And I thought it was going to be like a 40-pound axe, you know, that you put over your head with both. Like a lumberjack. But it's more um, hatchet. 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 Yeah. You know, it's smaller. And we did it. And it was a tremendous way to get out your aggression and frustration by flinging an axe at a board. A lot of aggressive, frustrated people. Oh, my God, a ton. Yeah. A ton out there. It was so great. Mm-hmm. And the guy who runs it, very nice guy, said that it's $10 for 10 throws or $20 for 30 minutes. And he said almost everybody starts by saying, okay, give me 10 throws. And then halfway through it, they're like, let me pay that. Yeah, let, me, let me ramp that <laughs> and up. And I see it. I, because as mm-hmm. soon as you do it, you're just like, oh, yeah. yeah. I love that feeling. Power, you know. Mm-hmm. But before that, we had a great lunch. The lunch was really great. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Very, very good. But mm-hmm. what you're saying. Well, our our, uh, our our friend in sales who kind of basically put the whole oh, thing together. It, yes. You know, it's her client. Yeah. She, uh, she was in our office, I guess, the day prior and said, are you guys looking forward to the, mm-hmm. the luncheon? Mm-hmm. And you're like, yeah, looking forward to it. She's like, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you were telling the truth, but your reputation is such that no one believes no one, you, no one. even when you tell the truth. That's Gosh. right. That's right. You looking forward to lunch and axe throwing? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, sure you are. Okay, right. Okay. okay. Right. Sorry, you have to do it. I was like, no, no, I, no, no. I, no, I'm looking. Sorry, it's a free lunch. Yeah, sure, <laughs> free lunch. We go. There's 12 people at the table, and I realize as I'm sitting there, my, even my body language, arms folded, <laughs> stiff, rigid, closed <laughs> off. <laughs> Everybody else, oh, it's yep. so, fr- you know, did you see this movie? Did you, oh, what about the home run record? All these things. And I just, all I did was correct people, mm-hmm. tell them why they were wrong. And then at one point, a dear friend, female coworker, she was talking to Kristen about Beetlejuice, the stage show. Well, I don't like that movie. <laughs> so she goes, have you all seen Beetlejuice on the stage? And I said, I hate Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for weighing in. <laughs> what he had done, Biggie, was metaphorically throw an axe into yep, the conversation. Threw an axe. That's what I did all day. I threw axes, both physically and mentally. She said, oh, Beetlejuice was so great. I don't like Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. That's what I do is I sit around and say things I don't like. It's mm-hmm. my least favorite Michael Keaton performance. Save Batman. <laughs> tremendous. Both are tremendously overrated. Both. Even though I like Michael Keaton, both of those are huge overrates on movies. Didn't like Beetlejuice. Didn't like the 1989 Batman. You know who you are. You're the guy at the party that everyone tries to talk to and then walks away going, why do I even try? <laughs> That's right. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Why do I do it? And mm-hmm. then, you know, she's like, oh, looking forward to this cool snap and getting into fall. No. I dislike fall. I prefer hot, mm-hmm. humid, steamy mm-hmm. weather. My shoes squish. I want to gut through. I want to grit. My butthole sweats. I love it. <laughs> That's what I want. Well, and exactly. some of our coworkers don't understand too, as mm-hmm. Chris Dem has pointed out many times. You're never happy where you are. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Later so, today, you'll be like, I wish I was talking about Beetlejuice. With her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think, yeah, that's, that, there's no, I don't even know what's the psychological word for that, but you're not even comfortable in your own skin. That's no. correct. That's right. And then you know, they would bring out like, we have salsa trays. I don't like salsa. You know, that, those <laughs> kinds of mm-hmm. things. Yeah, mm-hmm. Who a- ordered this? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you have any mild? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. The other day, golly, now we're into this, that narcissism list got me going. Somebody called the other day 
And Biggie did not put it on air. But we heard him say, hey, thanks, man. Thanks, boss, this and that. So we said, I said to Biggie, what did he say? And uh, Biggie said, well, he just wanted to say how much he enjoyed my performance to Biggie and uh, how I seem to have such a positive and great attitude about everything to Biggie. And I said, well, what do you say about me? <laughs> and Biggie said, he didn't mention you. I said, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> because now he just he called to tell me to Biggie. Yep. I wanted want to, to go on the air. Just want to compliment you. Uh, great attitude. Look like you're losing some weight. Doing really well. And I said, call him back. I want to see. I wanted. And I gave a thumbs up. Bitter thumbs up. Bitter bit emoji. Thumbs up. A bit emoji. You know, if you ever had your own podcast where it's just you, you could call it "What They Saying About Me." <laughs> what they saying <laughs> about me? What do we call it? There's a podcast. What do we call it? Weenie's out? Wiener's out? Uh, Peter's out. Peter's because out. You don't, Peter's you don't know out. how to end your segments. Oh, that's right. I, that was a great idea from Dave yesterday. Uh, I'm doing a fantasy football podcast. Really more of an email blast. But I told him it Peter's out at the end. It's like we don't mm-hmm. have a real good ender. And he goes, that should be the name of it. Peter's out. He's exactly right. Yeah. Pretty sure that was me, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he is an introvert. He only hears what he wants to hear about himself. Oh, was, it you, was it you? <laughs> Come on. I no. don't know. I don't know. That's Peter's gonna be, out. This is going to be my favorite new thing is to use narcissist and introvert wrong. <laughs> I don't know. He only cares about himself. He's an introvert. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the terminology mm-hmm. on a lot of these things. That's just it. Peter's out is a good... By the way, our uh, unfortunately, our uh, audience... Was lower for week two than week one. Lower? Was it six the pri- the first week? Four this week. <laughs> <laughs> We're down to four. <laughs> not a lot. You of, may get canceled. Not a lot of chatter. I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned on getting canceled on this. I don't stuff. think anyone is listening. They're not. <laughs> That's right. I did see the. Well, now uh, for the record, you yeah. were again it. I was. I was against doing it. I, I said you, I, you thought it was not a good idea. I, I said let's. I said let's do nothing. You know, we, we used to write these funny e blasts. Yeah. Uh, well, I we used to do e blasts to the whole league, and they were difficult and cumbersome to write, and we had to come up with something new every week because your league has to stand out. Yeah. Yours was the fun league. Ten years ago, my co uh, commissioner, who really runs it, said, "I want to put together a fantasy football league that's different from the rest, better with recaps." You know. Witty. Witty, fun recaps. So I was like, okay, but now we've been doing them 10 years. Jeez. I mean, when COVID came, we didn't do it that year. It was such a blessing. I was like, thank God. We don't have <laughs> you to You got do a glimpse of real life. I was like, oh, thank God. But now this year, he said, I think I've got an easier solution. Weekly, we'll do a podcast, which, you know, it does take a little less time. But I said, why don't we do nothing? And he's like, oh, no, no, no. We have standards. We have standards for this league. So we do the podcast every week. We had six. Now we have four listeners to the podcast. Mm-hmm. But now, if memory serves, mm-hmm. there are three of you total on the podcast. Correct. So if the number drops to three, I think the writing's on the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we know. Mm-hmm. It's then, just the three of you it, talking to yourself. Exactly. That's right. We could just get to a room. We could just get on the phone with each other. And Why I, not? Uh, that's right. I can't promise the other people that have listened so far didn't just hit play and leave the room. Like, <laughs> it's very possible. <laughs> And I'm some may have cut. A, I'm gonna give them a listen. Some might have cut out early too. We don't, yeah, you know, don't know. Yeah, I don't know that either. And there's not there's not as much chatter this week as there was last week. These are the things about fall. Now I did. You know, today's the first day of fall. Dave Aiken will come in here and tell you. Well, it doesn't start. Tomorrow. No, it won't be. No, not, not today. Not today. No, tomorrow really will be the first day of fall. Summer ends today. And I did see these stats on fall. I got one that's going to absolutely curl your hair. Listen to this. I'll go through all the stats about fall, even though I don't like fall. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You think of this question. How many leaves, you give me a guess, Price is Right style, how many leaves fall to the ground in America each fall? Think the about The 50 that. states. Across the 50 states, how many leaves, see if you can even approximate a guess of how many leaves fall to the ground every year during autumn in, just in America, in the United States. Jeez. I know. Think about that. The, the word fall comes from an old saying, the fall of leaves. Of course, it mostly is autumn, but mm-hmm. uh, the fall of leaves. A poet in England used it in the 1600s, and it caught on, and um, Americans shortened it to fall. That's why it's called fall instead of autumn. It's the only season that has two names, right? It is. Yeah, I was trying, um, I was trying to think of the others. And uh, <laughs> well, there's summer. Mm-hmm. You brought that one up already. That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. that's mine. But summer, summer. Yeah. yeah, and winter I hate. That's why I don't like fall. Fall ushers in winter. 
and winter. Mm. The older I get, the thinner my blood goes. The less I like winter. I don't like dealing with ice or snow or anything like that. I feel like I'm just complaining. You know, mm-hmm. it, it seems that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, fall foliage is going to be huge this year, third week of October, and some southern states will peak in mid-November. And they have a map now. If you go to weather.com, which Dave doesn't like, you will see a map of fall foliage. And in the middle of the country, it's supposed to be very vibrant this year. Great colors. Well, it all year. depends. It's A lot of it is dependent upon how much rain they get and when That's and how right. dry it was. That's right. That's right. But in they, the summer. Right now, it looks pretty good for the middle of the country. And then the eastern part has a, a good season, but not great. Now, how many leaves do you think fall every year from trees just in America? They've done the math here, which is uh, really just an estimate. But they show their work? They did. They did, yeah. They showed the work, but it's, I mean, even that is just. You can't count evergreens like your pines. That's right. And your firs. That's right. Because they don't drop leaves. That's right. And this is just in the United States. And there are some arid parts. Desert, of course. Yeah, right. Any any idea? 50 trillion. 50 trillion. Biggie. 50 billion. (laughs) Christian's closer. 50 (laughs) trillion is closer. I think. (laughs) I think that's right. Uh, Here's the deal. There are, this is the way they did it. There are 200 billion trees that lose leaves. Okay. That does not count the evergreens and the, you know, it's just 200, bi- roughly 200 your conifers. Bi- it doesn't count your conifer. <laughs> That's 200 billion trees in America that lose leaves every year. They each have an average of 200,000 leaves. That's a lot of leaves in mm-hmm. a tree. I mean, if you look at a big old oak tree, I would not have said two. No, I That's way either. too yeah. many. Don't is you? It? Look at the, the the branches upon branches upon branches on the older ones. But think about a football yeah. stadium that ha, that has a you know a quarter of that fifty thousand people in it. That's mm-hmm. a lot of people. Is that many leaves on one tree? One tree has two hundred thousand. Because they're smaller than your hand. Most well, leaves. Some of right? them are. Some of them are real. Yeah, and you know if you've got really big tall trees, I, I two hundred thousand seemed high to me, but that's what they say. They say an average of two hundred thousand leaves times two hundred billion trees. That's Forty quadrillion leaves oh, that fall, which I think yeah, even, okay, even Chris yeah, is, is low closest, on his yeah. fifty trillion, but he's the closest. Yeah, and so a quadrillion is is the next step up from, up from trillion. From trillion, right? yeah. yeah, that's right. So f- they say this isn't a ballpark estimate. Forty quadrillion leaves fall mm. in ju- in America every year. Isn't that incredible? I mean, look at look at Pennsylvania, a state like that, West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, just I know. Covered in yeah, that's true. That's right. Wall to wall trees. And you know, uh, sometimes I'll get on my environmental kick and talk about Oh yeah, it's been a while. Saving the tree or replanting trees and so forth. And people tell me, you know, there are like three trillion trees across the world. It's mm-hmm. an enormous number of trees. Yeah, that's my favorite uh, segment when you talk about saving trees and someone comes and says, Pipe down. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I don't know. What's worse, you lying about your caring <laughs> or them actually not caring. <laughs> At least I pretend. Yeah. At least you pretend. At yeah. least I give a little yeah. positive. There's always one guy who's like, oh, trees, we got enough of them. <laughs> what do they do for us anyways? A give lot. Life. They yeah. give us life. That's we right. We need them. <laughs>